Hello there, welcome to my channel where I do things. So it's been a long time uh, since I've been really in the Amberverse. Um, I've been very busy um, both with work and I've been in some shows and um, I'm just like behind on everything. Um, I am definitely several videos behind. However, I figured um, we can just fill in the holes. I, I can't imagine that too much has happened in the last like week or so. But I figured, hey, if I'm gonna catch up with Amber, I might as well make a video and then I can check that off my list of more things that I've been neglecting to do because I've been busy. If me reacting to a video isn't fun, we never have to do it again. That's the best part. If everybody down in the comments is like, boo, stop, no, then we just don't do it again. It's that easy to sway me, so. So Amber posted yesterday, full day of eating, come shopping with me, and increasing Ozempic dosage. I think, I think Ozempic, her starting Ozempic was the last video I watched, was like her first like announcement of it. So let's, let's just see how Amber's doing. Probably the same. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hi Amber. Oh. <laughs> New intro song, okay, no so lyrics. I have had quite a few people ask me about the glitter quite that I wear on my eyes. It's actually NYX Glitter Brilliance. So that's what it is in the color Glee. Oh my God, the focus on this is supposed to be good, but it's like, nah, nah. Hey, there, there we go. There I personally is. love it because I'm a glitter queen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying because you're not the glitter queen. She has worn glitter on her face maybe five times. As someone whose alter ego is Tinkerbell, who is the pixie dust queen, aka the glitter queen, she is. She has not dethroned me. I don't know what else to say. Let me take my clip. It was not a fun clip. It was not a fun clip. Any clip where you and wifey Jade, Jade Jade wifey, are saying I love you baby to each other is not a fun clip. It is anti-fun. It is the least amount of fun. The kick cat rarity is the kick cat. <laughs> she took some catnip. Oh yeah, she did. It's weird. Wasabi doesn't react to catnip, but rarity sure does. Cause Rarity knows how to turn up, know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I just want to give an update on the homeless shelter stuff. We <gasps> haven't taken it yet because between me- Is she donating to the homeless shelter again? Oh, exciting. Give her Lynn. We love a charity Lynn moment. Getting sick and then my girlfriend works a lot. We haven't had the chance to take it. So we're waiting. I don't think, I don't think Amber being sick has anything to do with them not having a chance to take it because Amber can't take it no matter what because she doesn't have a car or she doesn't have a driver's license she can't drive wifey is the only person that would stop them and so yeah if she works a lot then then it's what it's because of wifey not you that you haven't dropped it off for a time to take it and like the homeless shelter closes so early which is so strange but we still have everything packed what is she giving away so we saw toilet paper is this stuff, again, I haven't caught up, so I don't know. Is this stuff from her house that she just, like, does not need? Or did they go out and buy stuff for it? And we really want to take it this week. We're hoping. <laughs> I forget that I have this on my head. You guys, how many times? How do you forget that you have a pillow on your head? <laughs> quirky Lynn. She's so quirky. <laughs> I forget that I have it on my head until I notice that I have that on my head. It's my neck pillow, but I find that comfort like having it on my head. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Neither like do we were just chilling. She was watching some new um, cartoon by the creators of Rick and Morty. I think. So, so wifey has time to watch cartoons, but she does not have time to drive things to the uh, homeless shelter. Noted. I think and we were just chilling, so I just had it on. Anyways, so I have as some you do. Amazon to open, <gasps> so Amazon haul. we can do a little haul. We can okay. do a little haul. Okay, okay. so quick 
Amazon haul. I got this like budgeting situation. I really want to like try budgeting with real money, real money instead of just wait budgeting with with real money versus fake money. I guess that would make sense that she does budget with fake money because she definitely doesn't budget with real money. Using like my bank or whatever. So, whoops, I'm dropping everything. It comes for this binder, it comes with a binder. It comes with a little, like little thingies to put your money in. Little stickers that say like birthday, rent, water, health, electric. And then I got some pages for notes, some tabs. So that's cool. Is this a budgeting journal? Did Amber just get a budgeting journal? Journal Lynn, the budget queen. Look at her go. I remember um, growing up and that was a thing like some of my friends did like when their parents were like teaching them like how to like budget their money is they would give them like their allowance or whatever and then they had different envelopes and then they could put money into their envelopes for different things like oh I'm saving up for this so that goes in this envelope and like um you know oh this is you know to teach like tithing in church like this is what we this is for the communion basket on Sundays and this is for savings like yeah um so sure I just don't know when I don't envision Amber going to the bank, taking money out of the bank, and then putting it in to this journal. I don't see her doing that. I wouldn't do that. Especially because it's not like she gets like a physical paycheck. And so she has to go to the bank to deposit it. And then she's not like asking to okay, I want to deposit this amount, but I want to take, I want to get this amount in cash. Like she's not doing that, obviously. Um, I like that she's spending money to help her budget money. Um, when again, she could do this just like as my friends did when they were kids. Like you could just get like letter envelopes and write on them. Um, you do not need a budgeting journal. You don't. Um, you will never use this, so. And this isn't going to help her with like, um, like DoorDash and stuff like that, because that's all on your credit card. It's just on an app. That's, you don't pay in cash for those things. So I don't foresee this being helpful at all, but Hey, you know, there were stickers involved and it's a journal. So it'll be fun. I got this for my videos. True facts that sound like BS. I figured it would be fun to have like fact of the day randomly that's not fun that's not a fun idea that's a stupid idea unless they are facts that you personally know it's not fun it's more interesting if it's like hey here's a weird tidbit and i'll tell you why i know this because of x make it in and then you would have like a fun little story um this is dumb maybe i'm being petty but this is dumb be fun okay so we're gonna do a random fact of the day so we're doing we're a do random it. fact of the day this is i'm gonna start how about the first with page the first one and we're gonna see is my girlfriend smart <laughs> no she is she's very smart okay well maybe so the first one Oh, wow. They have like a whole paragraph with that. I thought it was just going to be. You know why? Because they're probably teaching you something, Amber. It's not like a Laffy Taffy rapper where it has like a stupid joke on it. It's not like a, here's a stupid fun fact. The fact. <laughs> I can call it a. I hated, I hated that. I hated that ad. We should also do like an ad counter. How many ads do you think Amber actually puts on her videos? A lot, probably. We'll find out. But that was that was terrifying. Anyways, moving on. Read it to me, baby. Mm, I don't know about all that. Read it to me, okay. baby. Oh, this is good. Okay, so true or false? Okay. Hippopotamus sweat is blue. Considering it's a fun fact, I would say true. Or it's like they sweat green or something like that. And that's really what it is. 
but my guess is that they do sweat a weird color. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in this book. Imagine if the first pack was like, fun fact, hippopotamuses, they sweat clear. Just like you and me. Isn't that fun? That's 100% true. You think it's true? 100%. Okay, so I switched it up because the actual fact is hippopotamus sweat is pink actually pink. but i switched it up to a you know to trick you so clever amber you're so so clever i love it what is this yeah no 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 you can't be switching it up yeah baby. yeah i can't yeah, baby if you yeah, knew the answer you would have said false no it's pink wait first of all we need to backtrack here their sweat is pink my new favorite animal Okay, so I have Shopping to trip, a voiceover. Trip. This is actually for things that I needed. Just a casual look down at her feet, just to like prove to us, don't worry, I'm I am walking. And then I got some gift bags Why? and some wrapping paper because I am giving gifts to somebody. I was hoping they had more wrapping paper options because I mean, gift bags are cute and all, but I love how wrapping paper looks, even though I suck at wrapping. I was literally just about to say, do you think she knows how to wrap a present? She sucks at wrapping. Um, I only found this striped one that I liked, and it didn't really go with the blue, but it is what it is. Blue and red, we can get down with it. And I also saw this silver... How many gifts metallic. is she giving? tissue paper which i've never seen before so i'm like gotta get that okay so i worked on my book queen planner good so so far like what i'm gonna okay in these pages is just write like what my bills are how much they cost etc so i have the income section rent and utilities bills like electricity my phone internet etc yeah, we know what bills Here we are. We have entertainment, which is just gonna be like my Hulu, my Netflix, all of my like random subscriptions that I have. This to me feels more like a really good organizer for like receipts. Like you could, if you keep track of your receipts and you want to keep track of how much you're paying and spending, that to me would make more sense for this. Like groceries, like uh, toiletries. We know stuff. what that means. Oh, we got an ad. Here's like, <laughs> I call them goddess bucks. They're just things goddess for me. Bucks. Personal beauty, clothing, shopping, whatever I want to buy. People always ask me if I budget um, money for no, just like she does spending not. that I do. And yes, I do. No, you don't. Um, housing is just like. No, you don't. You know how much Torrid this girl how much money she has spent on tour. Like, so, sorry, there's no way. There's no way she even remotely knows how much she spends on clothing, nor does she think about it at all. It is an impulse buy, especially because half of the clothes she buys, it's not like she, if it, she doesn't like it or it doesn't fit, she doesn't ever return it. She just gets rid of it. So that's thrown away money. So is she budgeting for money that is gonna be thrown away money? Does she budget that in? Not everyone can just spend like Amber spends. And so this is kind of bothering me because I cannot spend the way that Amber just spends as as a person who actually works a full-time job. Uh, gonna be my part of my savings. And then here's my savings for like taxes or um, other important things. So that is what I- Also like, again, I your savings, you're gonna keep all of your savings in there instead of in the bank. Or is that like you get your paycheck and then you divvy up your amount of money through all of those things and then whatever is left becomes your savings? Maybe that's how that works. I don't know. I just think this is a stupid idea. And she's, even if she was like really actually serious about budgeting, this is a, this is a stupid way to do it. It's just not going to work for her. It's dumb. This whole thing is dumb. Uh going so far i don't know this is just a different way to budget i like very we will maybe hear about this one other time and then we will never see this again very hands-on things instead of um you cannot continue with hands-on things you cannot you buy so many hands-on things and and you get obsessed with it for like two weeks if that 
and then you're done. No, I, you cannot handle hands on things. I, I don't even know how you're still refilling your stupid labeled bottles. I guess, I guess it's because she has literally nothing else to do with her life that that is considered like an event for the day. But I don't know, this is dumb, this is dumb. I'm, I'm a little upset, I'm a little mad. Always just like strictly doing it in the bank. So yeah, I actually really love this. We're gonna see how this goes. This was very cheap, like maybe $8. So if it doesn't work out, okay, cool. $8 down the drain. It's not gonna it work, work out. out. That's nice. Okay, you guys, so a day ago, I posted on the community tab, I wanted to know um, what series you guys like the most, so I will post a screenshot here for y'all, but the options were 500 pound girl, what I ate today, and vlog, and I did- Those are all the same thing. Those are, all three of those things are the same thing. There is no difference in any of those things. See, I just I get mad, I'm getting mad, okay. Look at some of the comments just to see and you, you guys are- Were the comments, this is literally all the same thing? I'm really confused of like what each of them meant. Exactly, because so they're all the same thing. A little bit more, 500 pound girl when I was doing that, um, it was daily weigh-ins, I was counting my calories, and my goal was to reach 472.4. So that was my goal. So the what I ate today series was strictly showing you every single thing I ate. Uh, but my goal was no binging. And I also did daily weigh-ins on that as well. So literally the same thing. Literally the same thing. And with 500 pound girl and what I ate today, it was vlog style. So I also showed. So they're all the same thing. There are things that I do in my day-to-day -day life, which brings me to the vlog series, if you will which is focused on like everyday life instead of like also showing you but, my calories. And but your literal life revolves around counting calories, weighing in and food. Every single thing I eat. Um, so the 500 pound girl and the what I eat today is more focused around really showing you every single drop of food that I eat. The goals for them are all different. And I know They're some not. of you were like really confused about that, which I understand. The reason why I posted this is because I am sort of curious if you guys are interested in like a season two of 500 Pound Girl. What would make it a season two? What would make it a season two? I feel like this is what I want, you know, my channel to be focused around is like 500 Pound Girl and vlog content but we're, we're not a weight loss channel just wrong just reminding you we're not a weight loss channel because it's just it, what it's what sits right for me it's what feels good in my do heart do whatever and you want i don't know Amber. that's just the content that Nobody i enjoy cares. the most so you know here's my audience so i film for myself but also um, I film for you guys and I, I do get curious what you guys prefer and stuff you like that. You don't film so. for us. If you did, okay, you would so do something. I'm just going to be straightening my hair while I talk to you guys. Great. I'm also, I'm having a... I remember a second she was like going to pour that in her hair and I was like, that's not what that's for. Peanut butter, chocolate, premier protein moment. I think it's sad that like we're at a point where I could see that and like actually believe that she would pour that in her hair. Remember when she rubbed like conditioner on her face because she thought it was lotion or something? That is the first thing I'm having today. 160 calories. Misconception. There is literally only one sugar in here. One People sugar. Saying, oh my god, all that sugar she's drinking. One sugar, man. One sugar, one little one grain. One sugar. One sugar. Today was my first Ozempic shot of 0.5. I did 0.25 for four or five weeks. I don't know. Um, and I lost about 15 pounds. Yeah, actually, I think it was four weeks. And I lost 15 pounds. That's awesome. That. It made That's me great. reach the lowest I have been in a very long time. Um, obviously, was it just the Ozempic? I had some willpower. Okay. I think it was just the Ozempic, but like, whatever makes you feel good. <laughs> and motivation and 
great support. So I'm gonna Because my girlfriend's so supportive. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we have a grocery haul. Got two of these adult lunchables. Italian dry salami adult lunchables. People hate when I call it that. I, I don't know why, but okay. And you guys know that I love the famous KFC bowl, but they were like, oh my god, Lean Cuisine has it now. So I got two of them. So my girlfriend and I can try it. 290 calories. It is literally the fried chicken with the mashed potatoes, the corn, and the gravy. So, uh, that sounds to me like something you could make fresh yourself. It's not a lot of ingredients, but what do I know? It literally looks like I got it from KFC. Like, almost identical, but it smells better than KFC. So, love that. Do it okay, so fresh. I feel like the part that I'm most worried about is the chicken because y'all know me I'm yeah meat person. is weird for you these days Ooh, it's hot okay it doesn't creep me out so that's a plus now i want to know stairs, when meat started weirding with her the out. gravy and, and what caused corn. that i like it I think I just need to put it in the microwave for a little bit longer because I like my mashed potatoes to be like super hot, but they just like feel lukewarm. But I think it has a really good flavor. Um, definitely worth the 290 calories versus the one at KFC, which is like 800 or like 780. She's disappointed know, about how it tastes. But I am going to put it in the microwave just for a smidgel of a bit longer. Like she was hoping seconds. it was going to taste okay, just like guys, the KFC. So my next meal is pretty massive, but very low calorie, just 70 calories. Can I just say that I've been watching for almost 20 minutes and now I know why I always have to watch this through other people because watching this straight, it is just long. Nothing happens. Like this is this is why your view count is down because it's boring corn just slaps i just cook it on the stove <laughs> sorry i don't want to waste it now i just realized that my choker wouldn't want to be wasting that was well, completely backwards nobody noticed Love you're fine corn. chicken but yeah i cook the corn on the stove um just like in a pan Mm -hmm. I like saute it. You guys, that's the best way to do it. Maybe you should have shown us. Just a thought, just an idea. Like there's no other way. Okay, you guys, so it is my next meal. I made a quesadilla on the stove. Uh, per one tortilla is 70 calories. So both the tortillas are 140. It is one serving of shredded cheese for 100 calories. And then you guys are gonna be like, what? What is this? Oh, they're eggs. That's how badly she burns them. So I didn't realize they were eggs at first. Okay. It's fine, I promise. This is two eggs. So that's 140 calories and a veggie burger. Oh my God, this is so good together. I am literally Oh, obsessed. the veggie burger is The veggie burger burned. is 150 calories. So this is my meal. Don't really feel an appetite suppressant, even though today was supposed to be my first day at 0 0.50, which I did the shot and not feeling anything. Mm. Don't eat things like that. So I'm really having to, you know, have willpower and strength. Oh, your like willpower. The queen that I am. Amber Lynn, the queen of willpower. With member. I made it. So yeah, that was me reacting to a video. Um, if it was funny, cool. And again, as we said before, if we hated it, if we don't want me to ever do this again, all we need to go is boo in, in the comments and it's fine. Um, if you did like it, consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun here. Um, I like to think of us as like a really elite exclusive club 
And so if you've always wanted to be a part of like a secret society or like an elite group, now's your chance. All you have to do is press subscribe. It's really easy. Um, I hope you guys saw that I posted finally the fourth episode of Hello Darling. If you are new here, um, Hello Darling is a Wattpad story that Amberlynn Reed wrote um, like maybe five years ago. Um, and I am turning it into a web series. I, uh, it's very high quality. Uh, the writing and the production value. Just creme de la creme green screen usage. Girl, I'm gonna go um, get my poopy and go outside and then hopefully get this thing done. Thanks for sticking around, people. I know I've been a little MIA, but I promise once this show is done, we're gonna be back and getting into the groove and hopefully posting even more uh, videos than before because I really miss it. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for being great, guys. Bye.